Hello, everybody, and welcome to the electronic scoreboard for season ticket baseball. I have gotten permission uh, from the creator and designer. His name is Clay, and he said that uh, it would be okay to share the electronic scoreboard along with the free demo cards uh, that include the 1975 World Series teams, 75 Reds, and the 75 Boston Red Sox. So they are included in this, and I've also made it so that you can play uh, without uh, using the cards on screen, just using uh, cards that you may own and have from your tabletop. So you can play it either way with any season you own, or you can play it online on screen uh, with the cards displayed with the 75 demo teams. So uh, to get into it, just click here. And uh, to load up the te teams, you'll want to put in the team nickname for the visiting team first. And it's important to do this in this order. And then you want to go down. I just tab through. You want to hit this one next and put in the team year. Tab through. Put in the home team nickname. Tab or go to the year and hit uh, type in the year. Now for the Reds, 75 Reds and the 75 Red Sox, there will be a uh, lineup that auto populates. And if you like it, you can just click load lineups and it will load those cards. If you don't like it, you would simply just uh, enter the names in there. Let me wait for these cards to finish loading. You can change the lineup. And of course, if you're not playing with the 75 Reds and uh, 75 Red Sox, you would have to change it anyway. So if you want to put uh, Bernie Carbo in left field, just put in the player name, put in the position you want, and click Fine. And then it'll bring up the card. Uh, if you wanted to use a different pitcher, just type in the pitcher name and hit Find. That's how you uh, change the the lineups basically and so um, this is how you play with the player cards if you want to switch to showing just the player pictures and use your own cards from your desktop click on this icon down here and it'll change to a little player picture and then you'll see just the player pictures instead of the player cards this will allow you to play with any cards that you have uh, besides the two 19, uh, 1975 demo teams So again, you can play with any team you like. You would just put in the lineup uh, for any team. And um, you would type in the team nickname, uh, Pirates1979. And then you would just go in and put in the players' names. and if you want to load them all at one time, you just click here and it'll load them all at one time at the very beginning. So that's basically a quick down and dirty of how you enter in uh, different teams and the lineups. So for, for this example, I'm going to refresh the screen. For this example, we're just going to go with the preloaded Reds 1975, Red Sox 1975. These are the two included demo teams. That, in, that actually show the player cards. And um, so after you get the lineup the way you want it, click on Load Lineups. And again, this is the icon to change between showing the 75 demo team cards and the player pictures to allow you to play with any team that you might already own on your desktop. I'm going to go back to using the player cards. And then after the line up, lineups load, you'll get the uh, start game button. Click on that. And then we're ready to play a game. So basically the way the scoreboard works, you get your dice roll up here. That's why I think it may be beneficial, even if you're playing with the player picks and playing with your cards from your own uh, that you own on the tabletop. Uh, you still have you can still play and benefit from the the dice. You've got a d6 here and you've got two d10 
you can roll them individually uh, as you need or you can just click here to get a fresh roll or hit the enter button or the space bar that'll give you a fresh roll you also can keep a simple box score which is uh, accessed right here this is how you get into the box score lineup area to change uh, players if you want and, and it'll keep a basic box score for you here to get to close the box score click here again and then you'll be able to keep a basic score here and you enter the result for each batter in this area here so if Pete Rose got a single say we're playing with the cards and you get a roll and you go oh say you want to uh, access the ballpark card you hit B and, and that'll bring up the ballpark cards for Fenway Park or if the Reds for the home team so B you'll have to remember that the B key brings up the ballpark card and B will close it again say uh, Pete Rose got a single you just click on single say Pete Rose stole a base you click on SB and in the box score you'll see that he has an S and a small zero for stolen base. That's just what I came up with uh, for my uh, scorekeeping purposes. So close the box score here. So you get your roll, you reference what it is. 183 is a bloop single, so you click on single. Now say Pete Rose scored on this play. You would clear him here and then add the additional run here by clicking on runs. And you'll see that whoever got that base hit is now awarded an asterisk for an RBI. If you want to take the run away, I think you click here, uh, yeah, over here, and it'll take the run away and clear the RBI. But it will say he scored on that, and Ken Griffey will get the RBI. Say, uh, Joe Morgan grounds out to first uh, to a pitcher who throws him out and Ken Griffey advances. So we want to register a ground out for Joe Morgan. And then we want to move Ken Griffey to second base. What you want to do is click on second base first, allow it to grab Ken Griffey, the runner from first after it does, and then take this one off. And say, um, Say Johnny Bench walked. We'll give him a BB. Now let's say uh, Ken Griffey got out on a fielder's choice at third. So that'll put George first, Foster on first and Johnny Bench on second. So you register your ground out. And George Foster will be the runner on first because Ken Griffey got out. So register a ground out. Then we want to... Uh, take Ken Griffey off because he got out at third so you kind of want to work backwards and then we want to put Johnny Bench on second and it'll change see it'll pick up the runner from first and then we change Johnny Bench using a little plus sign to George Foster and there you go okay and so for a single let me see how many. For a single, it'll move all the runners one base. For a double, it will move them two bases by default and assign the RBIs as they uh, go. And like I said, if uh, an extra run scores, just clear them from third and click on runs to increase it. And it will give them the additional RBI. If uh, someone gets out on an extra out, so you want to register an out without advancing to the next batter, like on a double play or if Dan Dreesen uh, gets picked off, but you want to leave Cesar uh, Geronimo as the batter, you click the asterisk. That's to register a special out, an extra out. So it'll register, in this case, the third out of the inning, and Cesar Geronimo will still be up when they come up to bat next time. This little underscore is the extra out, and Cesar Geronimo will be the next batter for the Reds. So, uh, a lot of times in season ticket, you need to reference uh, whenever you get a dice roll that begins with a five, 
I'm trying to get one right now, you uh, will want to reference the actual um, position player. So on a six, you need to go to the ballpark chart. So maybe I'll put an icon down here, but right now you'll have to hit the B key. The B key will bring up the ballpark chart. Hit the P key again and it'll go away. Um, but what I'm trying to say, mm, going to make sure that stays as a D6. There's some old code working in there. There's a five. So when you get a five, you want to bring up uh, the player card. In this case, it's the pitcher. Say it was the catcher. Whenever you want to bring up a position player's card, you just click here, and the catcher's card will be uh, quickly brought up so you can reference it for that portion um, of the at-bat. And, and this will be ground out. This is a fly out. This is just to register any kind of out. And that is shown with an X for just the generic out. Fly outs are registered with an F. And ground outs are registered with a G. So uh, this shows you pitches thrown, strikeouts, hits, and walks. And this is my little fatigue meter. Goes down to zero. And that's my indication that the pitcher's pretty tired and fatigued. So uh, let's see. What else? Uh, oh, to access the uh, reference charts from the rule books, just click on the arrows down here, and you'll be able to go through and see most of the rule books and, and acronyms and rare charts and things like that. And just click on it to close it. Oh, and when this is viewed, you can also still bring up the uh, position player cards to reference them. To close this, just click on it. The other thing, when runners are on base, sometimes you want to reference their cards. So you click on their name, it'll bring up their card here. Okay. And then to close it, you just click that. It'll go back to the pitcher's card. And again, you can change to showing just the player picks. And then um, you can use still the quick references to the rules and use the, use the online die. Uh, when you register an out or hit, it'll automatically give you a fresh roll, fly out, fresh roll. Uh, say there's a double play happening, just to review, put in a ground out and register the extra out here. Again, you can switch between the player picks and the 75 demo team cards that are included. Oh, this is just a little helper. If the pitcher's a lefty, you'll want to keep it on this side. And, uh, and this pitcher's a lefty as well. It'll remember it for the home pitcher and the left. Say this guy was a righty. Say you want to replace Bill Lee. And you, you would click here to replace a pitcher. This is how you replace a pitcher. It'll automatically go to where you need to fill in the next pitcher. And then you click find. And you close the box score. And since he's a righty, just click on this. It'll toggle back and forth. So now you have a righty pitching against the Reds and a lefty pitching against the Red Sox. When the game's over, hit Q on your keyboard. Whenever the game's completely over, not until you're done, hit Q on the keyboard. and That'll quit your game. It'll tell you the game's over. And it'll total the pitcher's uh, stats for you and give you the ability to export uh, the, the visiting team to a, an Excel spreadsheet and the home team to a, an Excel spreadsheet. Well, I hope that gets everybody gone. That's my time. And I'll take any questions online. And I hope this helps some people get used to playing season ticket baseball. I really like the game.